Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow My name is Brian Cagle, and I wanted to make sure you got a chance to meet my family because they are definitely the best part of this deal. Uh, this is my wife, Sean. Hello. And my daughter, Lydia. Hi. And my son, Luke. And uh, we have been, they, my kids have been around ministry really since they were born as we've served in different areas. And we were just chatting a minute ago about how that has affected our lives. And, uh, you know, we're very blessed in that it's been positive for us. You know, it hasn't been a negative thing, uh, don't you think? It's been a positive, for sure. Our kids have always been involved. Whatever we were doing, they were there with us. My son Luke, he, he's into the outdoors. Loves to get out. We were duck hunting yesterday. Coon. Lid, coon yeah, he's into coon hunting. Not me, but he is. <laughs> but I still go with him. Lydia, Lydia is involved at church a whole lot with youth and kids and all that kind of thing. And Sean keeps everything running smooth. Absolutely. All right. I'm the uh, Vice President, Managing Broker here of the Beverly Hanks and Associates Realtors in Waynesville, North Carolina, and also serve as worship pastor at New Covenant Church. I've been involved in worship really since coming to Christ. Worship was a natural thing for me, and uh, somehow found myself involved in leading other people in worship. That's evolved through the years that I've been involved in helping quite a few churches uh, develop their worship programs. I love helping people worship, and I love helping people come into leadership in worship. And so, for whatever reason, the Lord gives me opportunities to do that in a lot of different places, and it's, it's really wonderful. I am uh, from the mountains, and uh, thankfully, the Lord has allowed me to stay here. I know a lot of my friends have moved off, but uh, I've managed to stay in the area and enjoy it here so much and have gotten involved in quite a few things. I'm involved in the Downtown Association here. Uh, I'm involved in leadership of the uh, Haywood County Board of Realtors, and I'm on quite a few boards, uh, which I enjoy doing and being involved in leadership. One thing you may not know about me is that uh, I've been in ministry for, for many years and also served as a uh, senior pastor for about seven. Uh, my wife and I went over to Lifeway Community Church and planted that, and I've often said this, if you can pastor a church, you can do anything. You know, the way we live our faith out is interesting to me. Uh, and a couple of my heroes, uh, one is Nehemiah, another is David. These guys were so involved in life. Uh, they're very inspiring to me. You know, they weren't just like leaders at church, which is very important, but they were leaders in life, leaders in everything that they did. That inspires me. That's the kind of guy I want to be. I really believe that our faith is not just about a set of ideas that we hold or just believe in the right things. It's about how we live and how we interact with other people. And I get an opportunity to live that every day in leadership of my office, leadership in the roles that I serve in. It's really about connecting with people, caring about people, helping them be successful. And you know, it's, it's a blast to be able to do that. It's wonderful to be able to help your employees grow, uh, become better people, see their families prosper. Wow, you know, that's real life. One thing I'm really excited about that our pastor's been talking about a good bit is our outreach into the community. And I think, you know, as people that have experienced God from a charismatic tradition, we really value the presence of the Lord and experiencing that. But I'll tell you what, I really think Jesus values people. And I'm really excited about us lifting our eyes up and beginning to be a voice and to tell a story to our community about the goodness of God. And I think we're gonna to go to a whole nother place with that. New Covenant Church has a very special place in my whole family's heart. Uh, as a young man, went on a youth retreat, had an encounter with God, changed my life forever. New Covenant is woven into the fabric of who I am. I am New Covenant, New Covenant is me. We are somehow interwoven forever. I've heard it said before that church is the second shot at family. I'm still trying for the first shot, and I think that all of us should really aim hard at taking care of our families, loving our kids. I mean, I have such an amazing family that love me, and I love them, and um, I'm excited about our family pastor <clears throat> now that we have at church and how that's growing and developing. 
And I'll tell you what, as much as we're focused on growing our church, we've got to be focused on our family, loving our family, growing our family. It's really important. We've been involved in a lot of different things and are. Our hands, we've probably got too much going on most of the time. But through the years, uh, all we've done and all we do is all for, for one. one. This life I lose, I will follow you.